In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly care for a pair of leather hunting boots. Leather hunting boots being made out of a natural product need to be maintained and cared for. If you don't, the leather itself will dry and crack and basically become like a sponge that when you do go out into wet conditions, they're just going to suck all that moisture right into them. And then at that point, they're going to take that moisture and just transfer it right to your nice dry wool socks and you have wet, soggy feet. So in a few quick steps, I'm going to show you how to clean and waterproof your boots. First, we want to clean them. So we're going to start by removing the laces. If my laces are extra grimy, I'll even go so far to put these into the washing machine or give them a quick hand wash in the sink and then uh, let them hang dry. Just all that dirt and grime that could be in there is just going to go right back into your nice clean boots, waterproof boots, and start immediately deteriorating your nice hard work if you don't do that. Once I have my laces removed, um, I'm going to take them to the wash bin. You can also take them outside and do it under a hose, but basically you need a place where you can flush the dirt and grime that's going to come off your boots as you scrub them with the utility brush. I'm trying to do two things here. I'm trying to get all the dirt and crud and wash my boots off, and I'm also trying to get that leather thoroughly wet. And what I'm trying to do with getting the leather wet is basically opening up the pores in the leather so that the waterproofing agent that I'm going to add next can basically penetrate those pores and once it dries those pores hang on to that waterproofing agent. If you add the waterproofing product or wax to a dry leather boot it's basically not going to penetrate the leather and when you go out into the field it's going to wear off very quickly and you're not going to have much longevity to your waterproofing job. A lot of different products for waterproofing your boots out there the Nick Wax Waterproofing Wax for Leather. This stuff's been around a long time. I've used it for a long time. Um, still probably one of my favorites. Nick Wax also makes a aqueous wax, which you just sponge on, which might be a little bit easier to apply, um, but I feel like the waxy products seem to last a little bit longer. This is basically a leather conditioner from Nick Wax. This just helps to keep your leather um, supple. And then uh, the Schnee's leather conditioner which acts as a conditioner as well as a waterproofing agent. So at this point I've got my wet leather hiking boot. I'm going to take my waterproofing agent, take a couple fingers full and liberally apply it to the wet leather. Take care to work around the eyelets. It sure seems like right around the eyelets can be some of the driest areas and somehow those eyelets seem to hold water. So you really want to make sure you get the spots around the eyelets real well. Once you have the whole boot covered with the waterproofing product, let it sit for 10 or 20 minutes or so. Let it dry a little bit. And then basically just take a rag and buff out or buff off any excess remaining products. So there you have it. Now my boots are clean and waterproofed. All I need to do is put my laces back in and I'm ready to go. At this point, they're ready to go right back into the field, but I would still like to give them 12, if not 24 hours to really dry out and cure, so to speak, to really let those pores close up and soak in all that product that I put onto them. I personally waterproof my boots probably every uh, week or so during hunting season, maybe a little more often if I'm really beating them up out there. But really, by looking at your boots, you should be able to tell if, they're if they need some maintenance. If they're starting to look dry, or if as soon as you get out into the field and a little bit of moisture immediately penetrates the leather and you're not seeing the water beating off of the leather, that means it's time to do a little bit of maintenance.